All right, in part two of uh, working with the five basic files of Liquid Story Binder, we have created a new binder, put in our primary file listings, got our file total file listings window up here, and then we saved it in the workspace under primary workspace. Now, <coughs> we're set up to create new kinds of windows and to arrange them any way we want to and save them in various different formations under our workspace window. The first kind of window and program that we want to call up is, let's say, create a new builder. So we go here. We want to create a new, in this file listing window. Create a new builder. And let's call this uh, example builder. Now I like to put what the thing is in its title, but that's up to you. Okay, example builder, and we click OK, and bingo, we have a builder pop up. Ah, thank you so much. Now, first thing to remember about Liquid Story Binder is that it saves. We've created this within this window, so here it is saved right here, right? So let's make sure we click Save, right? On your primary file listings window, click Save and click it often, right? When you're not doing anything else, just go there and click it just for the fun of it. Now, what is a builder? A builder has mentioned before is a database. This is an example builder. This is a uh, a description. All right? Okay. Let's do another one. Uh, this is uh, item two. And and this is our description. All right. As soon as we hit save, this pops up here and we're doing good. Down here, this is our uh, our rich text format uh, text uh, uh, word processor. Okay. That's what we note about item two here. This is our text area. That's good. Okay, now we're cooking. All right, so we're thinking along here. We think, oh, hi. Let's see here. I'm going to add something to this. So where do we want to insert it? We want to insert it under item 2. So we go to item 2, click a new one, puts in right here. Great idea number 3. Aha. Oops, great. Great idea number 3. And it is a great idea, indeed. <coughs> and this is the idea. And we it out here, right? Word processing. It's basically what we're talking about here. But we can put it under a whole bunch of different items within this one builder. A whole bunch of different items within one builder. We have another great idea. Let's put it here. Another great idea, right? And that idea is okay. And list them, and uh, you know. As they, as they occur to us, and sort of where we want to. For instance, we can also do uh, a changing of the uh, color of the tab over here. For instance, let's uh, left click item two to select it. Right click anywhere, we get the color. Choose a color, red. Choose it, and all of a sudden this tab becomes red to make it stand out from the rest. And we can kind of color code our tabs if we want to. Right. So. <coughs> I think, oh, that's cool. That's that's you know that's nice. That's you know, but an important function of this will be able to uh, would be to be able to take this, all these different parts and consolidate them into one document, and that's what the builder is for. We go to builder, build selected items or build all items. Let's build all these items. We click it. All right, and what this is going to do is going to build a chapter file for us. All right, so let's call this example builder chapter. Okay? And here's our we can have a, you know, we choose our font, whatever font we want, okay? For the titles. Now, it says build with document titles, sure. 
We want our document titles over here and description titles. Okay, yes. We'll click that. Over here it says build in reverse order. Nah, we don't think so. Alright, so build chapter document. Yep, dang. And there it is. We have a chapter window open, which is, when we look at it, basically <coughs> just a, um, a, the word processor window of our builder. But you'll notice that our title and description comes up here in bold and then our text follows it and then item 2 in bold and our text from our word processor window follows it and so on and so on. In other words it takes all these items and puts it into one chapter file for our use. And we can take this chapter, export it, add to it, do whatever we want to with it. Right? The builder window can create a chapter window, right? That's one of the things that it does. It's its basic function, as a matter of fact. Now, here's the next thing. We have to remember that since we didn't create this chapter window from, the, from here, but uh, we want to keep track of that chapter. What we do, we go to Items, click, and we go Add Files, and go. Now here's our example builder chapter. Okay, make the selection. Example. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry, did I do that wrong? Add files. Example builder chapter. Bang. And it comes up here so that we can keep it in our file listings. Now, the thing about keeping things in our file listing is, is that anytime we want to see them again, for example, our builder, we just double click. And there it is, right? We want to see our chapter again. We just double click and there it is. So we can get to our different uh, windows easily by just calling them up from our primary file listing. Right? And that's a uh, how we create a chapter from a builder. We take the builder and we say build selected items or build all items. And that builds it into a chapter on here a chapter hmm. email during my video oh well. and a, a chapter with all, everything from the builder in that chapter with the titles and descriptions set in bold okay next thing in the next part what we'll look at is creating a checklist okay so why don't you join me there